Aircraft, provider of cookware, cutlery, and food processing equipment for Harrison Company. Now, boy, today we got a great dish here from a man who has created Healthcraft cookware, the stuff to cook it in, and has taught me so many things about cooking I never imagined possible. Charles Knight. <laughs> <laughs> We were, just, we were just talking about the things we could have taught each other. Oh, my goodness. Yes. This one is, whoops, the things are stuck You're in the You're not supposed gonna, to be playing with the food I was going to pull it off the thing there and make just, a demonstration of it. I'll tell it. you when to touch the food. Okay. Right. But, By the way, I enjoyed your touchdown Sunday. That was phenomenal. Now, that was Jack E. Harris, not Jack S. Harris. <laughs> the oh. other Jack Harris <laughs> did that. Well, wait a minute. Jackie Harris. Wait a minute. Tight end. That's Bay not Buccaneers. what you told those two stewardesses Friday night. <laughs> He said he was Jack. They, are you Jack Harris? They didn't know he's a disc jockey, so I guess we're the best. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm the guy in the football team. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. that works every time. Hey, you ready? No, that was great, man. I'd was say it? the Bucks are looking good. Yeah, I'm impressed. Well, I'm really impressed. You're not like... impressed with Philadelphia at all, but oh, you know, especially boy. what's his you name. Know, do we have anybody here from Philadelphia today? I don't think so. This looks like a happy crowd. Well, uh, Philadelphia was my team because I grew up, you know, in the Princeton area. They are a hostile bunch of people they anyway. Are well, I mean, Ricky Waters is hostile. They're hostile when they're happy. That's but you true. can imagine after oh, you mean losing the fans. to the Buccaneers. Oh, the yeah, fans are, the fans, the fans are, are after hostile. losing to the Bucks, yeah. 21 to 6, not even yeah. a touchdown. Yeah, that was terrible. Oh, boy. Yeah. Well, anyway, you ready to get going with this? I am. You're going to love it. This is the recipe that I cooked the night I asked my wife to marry me. Well, if you don't mind, I'm not going to try it tonight here because <laughs> I'm already married. Well, this, this is what you cook before yes. you ask your wife to Abs marry? Absolutely. Did you cook it for her or yes. what? It was a well, no, I cooked it, for I cooked it for some other woman and it brought her in and asked her to marry me. <laughs> well, I wondered, you know, <laughs> no, if mean, that was sort of an exactly aphrodisiac that it worked on her and no, she I said, think it was, oh, Charles, yes. No, it was a half a bottle of Matus. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> That's what happened. All right, anyway, you have to start. Okay. okay. What I want you to do is I want you to slice the meat very thin. Slice it very Kinda thin. Kind of like on an angle like this. Like that. Okay. okay. While you do that, I'm going to... By the way, this, this recipe is in my new cookbook. All right. right. And you got to make sure you get a copy of this. Look, everything's in four color, and it gives you all the nutritional breakdowns over here and everything. So it's a, it's a very low-fat recipe. Matter of fact, it's only not very thin. That's too thick. That's too thick? That's too thick. Very thin, yeah. Boy, it's going to be hard this to go back. This recipe is only nine grams of fat, and if you eliminate... Uh, if you eliminate the uh, eliminate the oil, it'd be like no, you don't don't go back and do that. You cut your fingers off, right? Well, I don't Just know make how it you nice can get and thin. it any thinner. Sure you can. See, you're doing well. There you go. Nice and that's thinner, thinner. Okay. Thinner than that? Yes. What we're going to do is we're going to make a marinade here. Use a tablespoon of a Marcella wine, right, or a cooking sherry. I'm going to use cooking sherry, all right? To that I you think add. You can make it any thinner than that. Yes, you can. Look at this. It's very simple. You just kind of slice it thin like this. See, I. Even parsley froze it so you can do this. See how nice and thin that is? That's pretty thin. Isn't that thin? Does that prove to you you can do it? Yes, you can okay, do it. Thank then. you very much. Okay, now, okay. right over here, you got, you've got one tablespoon of, uh, of <laughs> here we Whoops, go. Whoops, it's scooting across the table. All right? You got one tablespoon of cornstarch. All right? One tablespoon of, uh, what is this stuff? What am I cooking with here? You got me confused here. Soy sauce. It's a light soy sauce. All right, and a little bit of sugar. This is the uh, this is the good part of the recipe. <laughs> you wonder how he's going to get the sugar in there, weren't you? No, I wasn't no, paying attention. I was what, just are you, to... what are you laughing at here? I'm having a little trouble getting this stuff. Are you? Down. Wait a minute, it's all over the place. Well, you're not doing too bad. Just watch the knife. All right. Now, once you've got this marinade made, what you do is put all the meat in here. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna end this session here because I can see that uh, you're holding this on will never be there. ready. Okay. This will hang be, on to yeah. that second. <laughs> There you go. Get that last bit fit off. <laughs> okay. There you, okay, that, that's okay. good. That's good. Let's put this aside here. We'll save this for the crew. What you want to okay. do, mix this real good and put this in the refrigerator. You'll find a good one in there. I'll Thank find you. a good one in that here. Part. Oh, that's nice. Right? Like that? Okay. Now, see? That's what it looks like when it's all done. That marinates for about an hour. Now, in here, we're going to basically do the same thing I did over here. Now, you've got a wet and a dry. That's the wet one. This is the dry measuring spoon. You got to make sure you don't mix those up. All right. All right. One tablespoon of the uh, sherry. One tablespoon of the one sherry. This is the sherry. wet one. No, that's the dry one. No, that's the wet one. That's right. the yes. wet one. Okay. okay. A tablespoon of sherry. Okay. Dry one's over here. Now this this is what you're going to make the sauce out of. That's a little bit more. Okay. One tablespoon of that. I'll clean as you go. All right. 
This is, uh... Yes. One tablespoon of sugar. Soy sauce. Okay, that's a light soy sauce. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Aha. Tablespoon of sugar. Tablespoon of sugar. Okay. No, no, see, there. that's only a half on there. It says half, so you have to oh, use two of those. Two yeah, sugars. Two of those. All right. Okay. Two of these. Okay. Two of these. So everything's oh, a table. Wait, 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 wait a minute. No, you're what? trying to mess what? me up. No, I'm not, trying, off to me. Of the no, dry I'm not trying to mess you up. I guarantee I'm not okay. trying to mess you up. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, two, two things of that. Yes, two things of this. Now, to make the rest of the sauce, you want to use this, this stuff right here. This is called a hoisin sauce. A what? It's a hoisin. It's like brown sauce. A hoisin sauce. Hoisin sauce, yes. Well, be darn. Okay. One table. Don't smell it. It smells terrible. Is this wet or dry? Well, when you <laughs> look at it, does it look wet or dry to you? Well, it's somewhere in between. Okay. Well, it's kind of like jelly. Go. Put that in there. One right. uh, tablespoon? Yeah, that should be good. Boy, I bet that. Oh, my. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I'm not going to. Okay. Anyway, it's like some and some pepper. Jelly. We need some pepper. Okay. White okay. pepper. Now, you got to be careful. You don't want to put too that? much white pepper in. Uh, and this is the white pepper. That's the white Why pepper. white pepper? What's the difference white between white pepper and White pepper is for cooking. Anytime you're going to use pepper, anytime recipe calls for pepper, you want to make sure you use a white pepper. All right? Is that, Ooh. Is that too much? Yeah, that's, I think you went a little bit overboard there. Now mix that real good. Put the, this is, uh, this is your chicken stock. Put that in there. Chicken stock. Yeah. That's a half a cup of chicken stock. Now you mix this up real good, and I guess we're going to take a break and we're going to come back and cook all this. Oh, we'll be back in a moment with the actual work in a moment. Oh, this stuff. Don't miss the HealthCraft Cooking Show, where you can receive the HealthCraft Kitchen Machine, HealthCraft Liquid Core Electric Skillet, HealthCraft Herbal Tea Brewer Coffee Maker, or the Cheftel Commercial Cutlery Set absolutely free. Come see this exciting cooking show and learn how to cook meals that are healthier, better tasting, and more economical. See the HealthCraft Cooking Show at the Orlando Fall Home and Patio Show at the Convention Center September 8th through the 10th. Or you can visit us in our showroom at 5414 Town & Country Boulevard in the Town & Country section of Tampa. For healthier, shinier hair, I say start at the bottom with Pantene Pro-V Daily Conditioners. This was how I used to deal with split ends. Now, I help stop them before they start. Pantene's Pro-Vitamin formula actually penetrates down to the tips, restoring your hair, making it healthier, shinier. Split ends? Try and find them. Pantene Pro-V Conditioners every day for hair so healthy it shines. See you later, split ends. It's alive! It's alive! The only film known with a mind of its own. Come on. Afternoon, sir. G E L L O. Today's cooking segment is brought to you in part by Dixie Crystals. Dixie Crystals. Dixie Crystals. Oh, yes. Very good, Joe. Excellent. And that, that is the secret thing in here. You know, we've got the sugar in there. That's I what, know. we got a tablespoon of it. Did my, you like that? My hoisin clotted. Your hoisin clotted. It did. It's, <laughs> you know where, they get, you know where they get hoisin from? Where? Hoisin berries. <laughs> no. Yes, they do. No, it did clot though. It's like a. It's like. Isn't uh, that good tasting? Jelly or something. Listen, what I need you to do, I need you to chop up the uh, chop up the peppers and the broccoli. All right. The peppers. Now, and broccoli. what we're going to do is we're going to put about a tablespoon. Now, you can eliminate the oil, and this will eliminate all the fat because there's no fat in this recipe without the oil. But I like to use a little bit of oil because it makes it nice and shiny when you cook. So what you do is you take your beef and you put it into the hot pan. All right. Oops, I've... <laughs> Sorry, Leanne. Boy, Leanne's Leanne right. White. <laughs> She's right. Whoop, wait a minute. Was she wait a doing minute. that the first night? Let me, let me go, yeah, the, the night first you night. dazzled first her over. Night. Oh, Charles, no, 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 the garlic you're doing first. It wrong. <laughs> Charles, no. There you go. It is, I'm sorry, garlic first. You start out with your garlic. And to... Thank you, dear. Thank you very much. All right? See, you know who wrote the cookbook, too, don't you? All right, anyway, a little bit of ginger. You're doing it all wrong. And uh, you saute that. Until it's cooked, can you smell that? I think I found another way to cut these things up. Oh, you would. Okay. Now you see, can you smell that? Yeah. Isn't that delicious? Okay. Now you add the beef, right? You cook the beef. Okay. Oh. What happened? 
Okay. Nothing yet. You're not supposed right. to keep the stem. Get the stem. See, you're blocking the camera. You've got to learn how to cook on television. The camera cannot see okay. if you block. All right. Okay. You want some of those in there yet? No, not yet. I'll just not get yet. those out of the way here. Okay. we got to do some... Now you cook the beef. i do some serious broccoli. Oh, you're not going to cut that piece cut. too, huh? Well, I will if you want. I'm in a hurry. Well, there we you go. got to use the whole thing. That's what it calls for. Okay, now quickly, do the uh, broccoli. I hope they never allow there. you in the restaurant. Okay, now wait. How do you want this broccoli done? You just, want that just big want, part want, taken we off, We want right? the florets. Just the little florets. You want the florets. Okay, you want the florets. There's a bunch of little florets. Got the florets. I don't know if I should be letting you use a knife here. Okay. <laughs> I got nothing but florets here, boy, I tell you. You're doing well. Okay, you're doing good. Okay, everything goes in here now. More florets. Okay, ready? Everything goes you in here now. Yet? Okay, today. Okay, everything. Look at that. There you go. Put it all in together. All right? Yeah. Then you pour the sauce. The hoisenberry sauce. The hoisenberry. This goes on top. All right? And you just turn the heat off. Turn and it you off. Take, yeah, turn the heat off. And you cover it, and you let it set. What? Oh, did you put that in there? Yes. Okay. You weren't paying attention. No, I was. You were away on the broccoli around. Okay. Here. You just let this set for about five minutes. Yeah. And then when you're finished, I figured you probably screwed up a little bit, so I made another. Oh, okay. yet another a third dish. <laughs> this is what it looks. This She's saying great. thank you. Thank you. This is the one without the pepper. All right. Now yeah. you take a little bit of rice. Hey, wait, now go back again. Here was a real high point of the show, considering cooking. I'm sure there are people whose mouths were agape saying, I didn't know that. Why do you cook with white pepper instead of black pepper? Because white pepper is for cooking. It just tastes better. Why is it? Because it, it's already broken. It's nice and fine. It's already broken down to a nice powder. Well, why wouldn't you use that for everything? Why don't we just do away with black pepper and powder it up fine? Well, then... Mistake it for the salt. Yes, very good. Very good, Joe. <laughs> That's well, a good that's the answer, craziest thing ever. And okay. while we're speaking of that, how many people at home, can we do a quick survey here? How many people at home have a salt and pepper shaker and the salt shaker has more holes than the pepper shaker? Raise your hand, holler, yo. How many have it the other way? Well, now, I have it the other way because, or I did until I got married, uh, because... <laughs> that figures. The, well, the pepper's hard to get out. The that's salt right. flows freely. Why don't you have more holes use, for the pepper? Use white pepper. Okay, now... Are you ready? Oh, it's frustrating, I'll tell you. Okay. Are you yes. Set? Okay. Yeah. Rice on the bottom, all right? Your broccoli and uh, beef on the top. You sprinkle this with a little bit of sesame seed. All right, notice if you use the oil, everything stays nice and shiny. There's your broccoli and beef done right before your eyes good, without all the pepper that Jack did it with. You got more holes in your salt shaker or pepper shaker? Salt. You have more holes in a salt shaker? It comes out so easily. Why do you do that, Anna? We're such, we, we're just Creatures pushed around. Led by the nose. Today, one touchdown on Sunday, he thinks he's a hero. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I noticed you went for the beef and not the broccoli. Does this indicate no, anything about... I love about... broccoli, too. I just figured it'd be easier to eat and it wouldn't get all oh. over my face. <laughs> oh, well, that's all right. We don't want it all over your face. How do you eat your broccoli, by the way? I'd like to watch that. <laughs> if you'd like a copy of this recipe that helped Charles snare Leanne, just write to Beef with Broccoli, Box 888, Tampa 33601. Send a stamped, self-addressed envelope, please. So, um, well, so our cheap staff won't have to spring for it. That's right. <laughs> there you go. Now you're going to try some of that I'm broccoli. The broccoli is really good because it's got that hoisenberry sauce all over it. Here we go. Okay. okay I, I, I guess it. we've got to wrap it up. You're going to have to have it in a minute. Just go ahead. Stuff right. that right in your mouth. Mm. She wanted a bit. Nod yes or shake your head no. Do you yes. like it? She likes yes, it. Yes, I will marry you. Way to go, Charles. <laughs> you did it. She's going to marry you too, Charles. Way to go. <laughs> hey, we'll be back with more in a moment. We're going to work out here with the shapes, folks.